So what is the place of Christianity in a divided uh, South Africa, uh, we have so many things that, that, that polarize us, that pulls us on the left, on the right, race, uh, issues of injustice, uh, systemic injustice. Uh, there's so many things happening. And so one of the questions that people always ask is, what is the, the gospel? What is the Christian uh, response to this stuff? Um, uh, I know many people think when they think about Christianity, uh, they think clouds, when they think about Jesus, they think about, um, they think all kinds of things, except that Jesus came to impact our world in a phenomenal way, in a phenomenal way. I mean, Revelation 3 verse 14 makes it clear that Jesus is the true ruler of God's creation. And the implications of that is so profound. If Jesus is ruling the world, what does that mean and how does that look for the church? And so it's beyond just saying that Jesus wants us to enjoy heaven in a place far, far away. He's, he's asking us to impact our world today. He's asking us to live for him today and impact every area of society. And so often what we have to do is, and here's where, where my blog comes from. Isaiah 6 to 10 tackles this issue of Isaiah seeing the Lord seated high on a throne in a time where the king has just died. Hosea has just died. And the question everybody is asking politically is asking what is happening? What is going to happen to our nation? What is going to happen to our people? And what God does in that chapter, chapter 6, is he gets Isaiah's theology, if you will. He gets his thinking right in terms of how do you think about God? How do you see God? Once he gets that right, here's the second thing that he goes to. Once Isaiah sees that he himself is a sinner, once he sees that his people are sinful, he identifies the massive problem, he sees that there's social, political issues within his nation. Once God shows him all these things and God takes away and deals with him personally as a sinner, here's what God says to him. I have a message to give to you. And Isaiah's response, of course, is here I am, send me. And Isaiah gets in there. He goes to his people. He meets his king, Ahaz. He meets his people with the wonderful message of the gospel. And it impacts us, um, not just Isaiah in a very profound way, but it impacts us, the people. And, and he's calling them to respond in faith to God. But what do we mean when we say people need to respond to faith in God? You look at the whole of the sweep of the Old and the New Testament. You look at Judges. Um, you look at the list of, of Hebrews 11, those guys who conquered by faith. Um, and you look at what it actually meant for them. You look at the, the prophets. Uh, one brilliant example is, is, um, uh, uh, is John the Baptist. When he comes and he prepares the way for the Lord. And, and what, is, what does that look like? He speaks to people in, in politics. He speaks to soldiers. He speaks to the ordinary men on the street. And they're all asking, what must we do? And he says, stop living for yourself. Be content with your pay. Um, he says, stop defrauding people. Stop acting corruptly. And he's really impacting them in a very profound way in terms of justice. You look at Zacchaeus, um, how the Lord touched his life. And when Jesus says, salvation has come to his house, how that looks for him is that he gives himself, not just, not just of his money, but he gives himself, not just to those who have, who have behaved or corrupted himself with or, 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 or take their money from. He's not just speaking to those people, but he's speaking to the people who's impacted by the system as well. And he gets in there. And there's so many different examples. You can look at um, of Jonah. Uh, Jonah goes to a city. He preaches the gospel. And you see the profound impact that has on the whole city, on the whole people of the city, even the king. It has a profound impact in, on everyone. And that is, that, is, that is the message of the gospel. It's a gospel and it's a message that says that God is concerned about you as a person as you live your life here on earth. And as he one day will come and establish his kingdom on earth, he wants us to experience the fullness of what he wants for us today. That is the message of the gospel.